seven-time Grammy nominee, Victoria Monet. That's a good number. But fart. <laughs> Ice. Yeah, I love it. Go for best new artist, yes, baby. I love you, brother. I voted for you, brother. Love you. Hey, it's Tetris with Billboard News. We're at Spotify's Best New Artist Party. I'm going to be talking to some of the brightest stars in music and taking you inside for some of the biggest performances ahead of the Grammys. How does it feel to walk this carpet as a Grammy nominee? Very surreal. I can't believe it. Even when you say that, I'm like, what? Who are you talking about? It feels like a dream sequence in a movie or something. Like all the flashing lights. I'm wearing this jacket, which is really not me, but I'm still wearing it. And we well, look good, man. Thank you so much, yeah. And obviously we're here at the Best New Artist Party. So out of the nominees, who you guys been listening to? Who you rooting for? Ice Spice. Yo, that new song? What the heck? <laughs> like, how do you put fart in a song? No, I legit was like... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hot take. Do you guys like it? Yeah. I actually do enjoy it. You think you the shit? I only heard it once. Fart. <laughs> what? Because... Thank you the shit, bitch. Hey, you're not even the fart. Nah, I be going hard. Like, I love Ice Spice. You know, I love... Hope Ice Spice wins. I hope Victoria wins as well. You know, you can only choose one winner, so that's hard. Coco Jones is amazing as well. I think right now I'm kind of tied between Ice Spice and Victoria Monet. Victoria Monet. She, she was my top artist last year on Spotify. Real fan right here. Truly. really honored to be one of the women that is pioneering R&B. To modernize R&B and make it feel limitless is a real, real skill. And I mean, I saw you over there talking to Victoria. You maybe ever get a little collaboration going on? I would I love, love that. Her. You know what's funny? We already low-key collaborated because she wrote on my debut EP when I was a teen. Wow, you're kidding me. We got to bring it back. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We've been ahead. Y'all just got here. I would love that. We've discussed it with our, our teams. have discussed it, but I know our, both of our schedules right now are like, we're like over. So one day after this, we'll align, and I know at the perfect time, we'll have the perfect song and do something amazing together. Honestly, whoever wins, I feel like I'm, I, I'm going to the Grammys, so I'm just grateful to be in the presence of everybody. Gracie Abrams, I love. Uh, Noah Khan is amazing. I actually was introduced to Jelly Roll at CMT Awards last year. Okay. And I honestly was so shocked in an amazing way of how amazing he is, and I just have been obsessed with him ever since. Jelly Roll is the most incredible person I've ever met in my life, and one of the most sweetest, sweetest, humble, most beautiful people. And when I walked up here, they had wrote down Jelly Roll for me, and I wasn't even upset about it, you know, because that's the most beautiful man I've ever met in my life. I said, you know, actually, just leave Jelly Roll in there. I would take that. I'd take that any day of the week. He's my best friend, man. One of the most beautiful people I've ever met. Jelly is the absolute man. His story inspires me. His music inspires me. His personality inspires me. He just reminds me of my friends from back home, and he supports me like one of them. It's so cool to have the seal of approval from someone so talented and so gifted and, and so kind. No What's up? Listen, this is the bromance nobody knew was going to happen this week. We knew it, though. We I knew had a it. Feeling. I had a feeling. It should be the storyline of the Grammy. I saw it happening last night. I was telling him I saw you singing along everywhere to his song. Man, I just love the authenticity of the music. I love where he writes from. I love his dedication to the craft that he unwavered. He picked his songs. He did it his way. Our stories are very similar. He did it 10 years before me, but he didn't start two days ago. You know what I mean? So I have a lot of respect for artists who cut their teeth in bars. Oh, I'm rooting for all of them. I think all of them deserve that spot. But I did just see Noah last night, and he was singing Season of the Sticks, and I was like, it's a good song. I love that guy. Uh, Noah Khan. I feel like the ladies love Noah Khan. The ladies love Noah Khan. <laughs> and Noah, I gotta tell you, I feel like every woman on Billboard staff is obsessed with you. So how is it to like be out and see your fans and get all that love? It's so cool. And Billboard has been uh, supporting me since I started way, way, like way long ago. Don't tell the Grammys, but a long time ago. All my fans have been there for me for a long time, and like they are like my family and the people that I look up to the most, and am so appreciative of. <laughs> Abrams. I feel like I've known her since she was like 16. So it's just amazing seeing her have this like incredible year. I'm just stoked to watch everybody else, honestly. It's like I, I haven't been able to see most of these artists perform before. So I feel like I'm just going to be like lurking and listening and crying and screaming. So that's my plan. I still love you. I promise. I've been
been so locked into Michael and what I've been doing, I'm just getting opening up to a lot of new artists. So I'm getting turned on. So allow me to table that one and come back after I hear a lot of folks tonight. Oh, you're going to love Warren Treaty. So go in there and check out these performances. Gotcha. I'm telling you, you're going to have a good time. I appreciate it. Are you excited to perform tonight? Though? I am on excited to they perform. And I'm excited to see you. I'm going to be in the front row just vibing. OK? My hey. boy, man. What's up? How's it going? I'm so excited. <laughs> Fast forward to Sunday, what happens if you win? I'm going to celebrate by eating a large, large sum of food because I've been on my skin tea trying to make sure that I give Grammy luck. I mean, you are. Thank you. So what's the item though? I need to know what you're gonna eat. I want a large bowl of ramen and then for dessert, I want a side of fries because I don't like sweet. I'm gonna thank my mom. I'm gonna pour some Jaeger into the trombone. Jaeger? And then get Liddy, dude. Oh my God, I might faint. <laughs> That's what we want to see. I didn't think I would be included this year in any capacity, so to be in that room alone is my win. I literally have so many people to thank because because it's been so long. That's my main concern is like, you have to get it together. Don't sit up there and cry the whole time. Just voice your appreciation for everybody who's helped you get here. Well, listen, I don't know. I'm gonna spend the first half talking about how he should have won. You know what I'm saying, for sure. We promised each other a shout out no matter what. This party is always way too fun. For all our Grammy coverage, head over to billboard.com.